I hate making singing faces. Well, I used to. I love the way they look in our shows. I truly, truly do. But when it comes to creating singing faces in X Lights, it is probably my least favorite thing to do. And I know for many of you, you may feel the same way until now. Hey everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, and here we are with another Monday's Minutes. I hope you're enjoying these. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and give us a big old thumbs up if you enjoy the content and they help you along your x life journey. It really does help the channel, and I certainly appreciate it. Cyber hugs for all. All right, let's get into this. So singing faces, for years and years, this was like the bane of my existence. Anything that had to do with singing faces, uh, I just didn't want to do. I would pay other people. I would work with Robert Jaime, who I think does some of the best singing faces. M from Australia does amazing work. Mike Barsky does amazing work with singing faces. And a lot of my other friends in the community do great jobs with it. But it was such a tedious thing to take on. And then they came up with this big singing group uh, thing where everybody joined, and if you put it in a singing face uh, for everyone to share, you got all of them back, and that was sort of interesting, but it wasn't something vendors could join, and it certainly wouldn't be fair to be a part of that program and then throw them in your uh, sequences to sell or charge money for them. That's just not very cool, right? I don't think it is. But some really interesting folks in Europe got together and created something remarkable. And this is called Auto Lyrics. Uh, I'm actually a sponsor of this, along with uh, Panels R Us, Greg Macri, and Jim Ennis from Build a Light Show. And uh, we're very proud of the work that's been done on this. And I think you are going to love this. Let's learn how to create singing faces the easy way. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy singing faces if you don't want to, but I will, I will say this. This gets you there about 90% of the way, and in some cases, 100% of the way, depending on how picky you are. Some of the sequences out there with singing faces that are done, I will say, professionally, I mean, really professionally, like Robert Hami from Holiday Sequences, where you have the wavering faces and that attention to detail is just, you, you, just hard to find that anywhere else, but it takes time. And that's what he specializes in. But for folks that aren't concerned about that, you want to do your own singing faces, it's easy, it's free, and let's get into it. First thing you want to have is a song. And you're going to need the MP3 for that, okay? And you're going to want the lyrics. A lot of times you can use Google to search for lyrics or YouTube, and you'll find the lyrics, and you want to copy those. And you want to put those into, just put them in a text file or something. You can see here, I have one here. Here are all the lyrics. Okay, great. And then you have the MP3, uh, which I've already put into X Lights, and it sounds like this. Pretty. Very, very, very pretty. Next thing you're going to need is the online free software that you don't have to download. Now, you will need to log into this. And by, by logging into it, I mean it's going to ask you, do you want to use your Google account, Discord, Facebook? It just wants to make sure it's keeping the rift raft out. You have to be a real person. And this is Auto Lyrics lightingfanatics.com autolyrics.lightingfanatics.com and if you go to the bottom you can see here here are some people that are supporting this oh look that's me hey um and a big shout out to jim ennis and ben dudley we call ben uh hot plate uh because it's a long story but we won't get into that but anyway uh these two gentlemen have done remarkable things with this software and you can read all about the behind the scenes of what's going on in the FAQ to kind of see where it started. But I know some of you are already using this, but for those of you that have never used this, oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to take these files here, or I should say these lyrics, just copy everything, and we're going to paste them in here. Control V, paste. That's it. Uh, if you want to clean things up, I would take brackets off if you see brackets or parentheses, things like that. But for, for the most part, you can leave everything else alone. 
And then you're going to need to drop an MP3 on here. And I happen to have an MP3 right here. So what I'm going to do is just drag that and drop it on top and then click upload. And you'll see here, don't, don't do it over and over because I did that earlier and it was like I, I put it in multiple times. Now I have it three times. And you can see it's uploading and that it is processing. Cool. Leave it alone. What you can do, just come back a few minutes later and click this little refresh and it'll tell you if it's finished and then you can click download, okay? When you click download, you're going to end up with a file that looks just like this guy here, output.xtiming, that is the lyric track, okay? So once again, get your music, get it in X lights, Find the lyrics, copy them, make sure you have the MP3, bring in the Auto Lyrics website, paste the lyrics in the box, either choose the file or drag and drop the MP3 onto this, and then basically click upload. And then you'll hit the refresh and it'll let you know if it's done or not. It could take a few minutes, depends on how busy the server is, and uh, it doesn't take that long, usually just a few minutes. And there you go. Okay, so now that I have that, it is time to bring in the Lyric track and see how well it does. So what I'm gonna do is right click here on New Timing. I'm going to import a timing track. I am going to point this to the downloads. Then you want to select it and click OK or double click and it brings it in. How cool is that? So what we have here, the Papagayo, here's all the words, the lyrics, and then here's a breakdown of everything. So we double click in here, you can see how this is breaking down, which is nice. So I'm not going to make any changes to any of this. I want to see what it does right out of the gate. And I'll just bring this all the way down so we can see the whole thing. And I'm going to drag a singing face onto, let's just do bulb three. And I'm just going to drag it across all of the music. We can see here it's already taking the timing track. If you do not see the timing track availability, just toggle this. Just go over here to the timing track, select it, and choose the lyric track that you have downloaded, that Auto Lyrics created for you. And then at that point, uh, make sure that the show outline over here is turned on. If you would like to use uh, suppress so that it only turns on the singing face when there's actual singing, uh, you can do so with these features down here, suppress when not singing. Um, and then there's a lot of finagling with dialing this in, like the tolerance between it fading in and fading out between singing. And I find sometimes it's a little distracting if it constantly goes off and then she sings again and then she sings. And she, so sometimes I just leave it on or I will create timing marks in between. I'll just put a T there, right? And maybe I'll put something in here and I'll take control of that and I'll just have multiple instances, and maybe what I'll do is when this stops singing here, but start singing again here, I might just copy this and paste it and do that. In this way, I can put some fades on here. I can do an out transition of, you know, maybe one second, maybe an in transition of one second, and maybe make it look a little smoother. So that's one idea to control that. But let's uh, let's take a listen here and see what we have. All year long I've been keeping track Of when I've been naughty and nice The wrong what I can tell I've done more good deeds Than I've told lies I can only hope that Santa Claus that, that's not bad. That's not bad. Now, how can you take this to the next level? Well, it, it's not, it's easier than you think. So if we listen to some of these sustains where 
she's finishing a, a word, but it sustains further. Watch this. So this finishes over here. So if we take this and drag the word over, and we could delete this and this and this, and I can right click on this and break down the word, it's now gonna take this section and sustain it to the end. So listen, listen to this now. Simple, simple. Now I could have manually just dragged this over and the ETC and all these things and start messing with that, but this might be a faster way. Uh, let's go to this next one. There was another sustain here, lies. So lies goes all the way over to right about here. So I would probably just lasso this. So if I deselect all my timings, now I can just lasso this, right click, break down Word, and now we have. Okay, so here's something interesting. The L is in the beginning, but the la I starts sooner. So all we do is we scoot the AI further over, and let's watch. Boom. Hello. <laughs> I actually like working with lyrics now because the fun part for me now is just the, the subtle cleanup. Um, I can only hope. Again, I would just probably have to do this a few times. My I would bring this out to here. I might now just manually pull this over. Yeah, and you could go in here. You can really punch in and see what's going on. And maybe I'm going to pull this back a little bit. And the key here is to get it to look as good as you can, as good as you can right? Now, you can always take the audio and you could play this at half speed. So look at this. Notice this seems to start way over here. The and goes over more. So, okay, let's play that back now at the normal speed and see what it does. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's just, man, that's just too cool for school. All right. I think you get the gist of this. Uh, by the way, uh, all of these lyrics will work on the matrices as well. I could copy this to the uh, matrix right here. That looks good. And whatever character you want. Let me scoot this guy up here just a little bit so we can see everything. Uh Cheap trick, maybe not. Maybe we want, uh, oh, I call this one Sister Sledge, but uh, here we go. All year long I've been keeping track of when I've been naughty and nice. Yeah, I mean, this is so much easier and so much faster than the old way of manually creating lyrics. You have to try this. Um, and it's especially great if you've purchased sequences from vendors, well, like myself, some of my older stuff that may not have lyrics or things I just didn't want lyrics in. Spend 10, 15 minutes with this and you have an entire lyric for a sequence and you don't have to pay anything for it. Done. Again, this will get you 90% of the way there, depending on the complexity of the lyrics. What? Okay, what if I've got multi-part lyrics, three-part harmonies? That's a very good question. Well, if they're all singing at the same time, that's easy. It's copy, paste, and go, go your way. But what if they're singing in and out of each other? You're going to spend a little bit more time on that. And at that point, if there's something that exists already that was professionally done, you might want to consider getting that or spend a little more time separating the, the three, four-part harmonies. You know, the juice is worth the squeeze if singing faces is your thing. So anyway, I hope this has been really helpful. I love that I've been uh, a part of this program uh, when this started, when these brilliant minds got together and say, I think we can do something better with this. We can make it better. And oh my gosh, they did.
So I'm very thankful and very passionate about this. So go out there, get your lyrics on, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, drop them in the messages and I'll get you some answers super quick. All right, that's it. Take care. This has been Monday Minutes. See ya. Thank you.